good to see you. Today, we are back with another one of these Macy's Beauty Boxes. I think this is the one from January. Somehow I got behind again because I now have two of these. Got another one in the mail the other day. It's not this one, it's a different one. And uh, so I think this one must have been from January. I thought we were all caught up. I don't know what happened, but I have two of these. So, um, it's a little box of mostly trial size things, and I've actually found a number of products in these boxes that I really like. You never know what's going to be in here, so it's always fun. I wait until we're together to open it so we can check them out together. And what you find in here is a wrapped up little package. It's all wrapped in tissue paper. I think it's usually Um, and you have to open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box. Um, it looks like it's perforated, but you actually kind of have to Hulk smash your way into it. It always looks really awful by the time I get done. So I'm going to open this up and we'll take out the uh, tissue paper packet in here and we'll see what we got. So it is pink tissue paper here. You can see that. Um, yeah, it's very nice. And they used to give you a little paper. It was about the size of a postcard. And it would tell you about the products. But now they just give you a little $5 off coupon code. And this is a Winter Beauty Wonderland. They just give you basically this little sad bookmark. And I just throw it away. I don't worry about it. So... Usually the package you get is going to be about this size. Sometimes though they will include items that are too large to fit into the little bundle here. They will be in the box separate from the little bundle. It's like a cute little thing. Look at this. It's like getting a present. Oh, do I see perfume? I'm not sure. So it's a bunch of little items all kind of wadded up together. They're all over there. I'm going to remove this uh, paper and then we'll take a look at our stuff. Okay, so I've, I've removed everything. I put it over here. And we're going to take a look at these things one at a time. When I removed the, the things from the bundle, this rolled out and about got away from me. Look at that. A golden ball from Lovery. Lovery. It has a little sticker on it. And it has bunny ears. It is a bath bomb. You can see it has a lovely sparkly gold look to it. I am a busy person. And I just wonder, I would like to ask you a question about these things. Okay, maybe it's just me. I am so busy most days that the thought of taking the time to run a bath to actually use this makes me, it stresses me out. I always take showers. I have taken exactly one tub bath since I bought this house six and a half years ago. One. <laughs> Everything else has been showers. Um, I know I will never use this. Now, I know there are things you can get for this shower. Actually, um, if you ever have chest congestion, I think it's VIX makes a shower tablet that has uh, eucalyptus or menthol in it. You could put it down in the shower and it you know, makes the nice menthol or eucalyptus vapors in the shower. I've never actually tried them, so I don't know how they, if they work well or not. But if this has to be put in a tub full of water, I will never use it. I'm trying to read it. Gold Satin Balm lavender. That's really cool, but I'm not going to open this because I know it will languish in a drawer in the bathroom. 
and it will not ever get used. <laughs> I will put it in there having good intentions. One of these days, I'm going to do a nice hot bath and it will never happen because I'm not very good at sitting still and just sitting in a tub of dirty water stresses me out too. <laughs> so do you get these things thinking you're going to use them and then you just never do? Or is it just me? I don't know. <laughs> so what I've been doing with these products that I'm not using, a lot of them I put into the blessing box. When I go to drop off uh, to put food in the blessing box, I put these in there too. I'll just put in a little bag of goodies like this. Just I'll just put them all in a little, a little cosmetic bag or a Ziploc bag or something. So this will probably go in the, the blessing box. It's like a fancy ping pong ball. <laughs> it's about the right size. But yeah, that's cute. But I will never, I know I'll never use it. We have from A Avia, A-V-Y-A, Avia Daily Essentials. This is an exfoliating scrub. Honey and Amber Deep Cleansing Exfoliating Scrub. Honey is rich in antioxidants for moisturization. Bamboo refines and improves texture. Well, now this I am curious about. Since you can use it daily and it's good for blemish-prone skin. This scrub combines the natural properties of honey and amber to provide moisturizing antioxidants. Amber gently exfoliates to refine appearance. Bamboo polishes. They misspelled polishes skin texture to promote an even toned complexion. P-O-L-I-S-H-S. -S. Polish. You want to gently massage it into wet skin using a circular motion. Avoid the eye area. Rinse thoroughly and moisturize. Well now this I will use. I am a big fan of, um, there's another one. Mer Merida. It's a gentle exfoliator. I use that about twice a week. I don't use it every day. This has plastic on it, like shrink wrap. I kind of want to see what this... I just want to see what this looks and smells like. Okay, I've removed the plastic. That's a little flip cap. I'm just going to open it like this. It did have a seal, but I went ahead and removed it. Oh, it's it actually smells really good. It smells like honey. It smells really nice. Oh, it smells really good. Smells delicious, actually. So I just got a little on my finger. It's not greasy or oily, and it does have, you can feel the scrubbing. There's like hard stuff in it. That must be the amber. So you can just, and my skin is not wet, but apply it in a circular motion. I'm going to go, let me actually get a little bit more. So it comes out like this. It almost looks like a sugar scrub. And it kind of feels like one, too. I'm just going to do the whole back here. It smells really good. And you can definitely smell the honey in it. Oh, it smells nice. Um, I'm going to go rinse this off and I'll let you know what I think. Okay. Well, I will say that it rinses off very easily. And it leaves your skin so smooth. It's really nice. I already really like this. Avia, and I may be saying that wrong, A-V-Y-A, Advanced Ayurvedic Skin Care. Is this from India? I was trying to see where this was made. I'm not sure, but I really like it. I'm going to keep using this. I really, it is so nice. And it's not harsh. It's not, you know, some of these exfoliating scrubs like this are just... To me, they just feel very harsh. This one is very gentle. I would have no problem using this on my face. It's it's not harsh at all. Oh, and it's so soft. It's lovely. So, I'm not familiar with this uh, company, but I really like that. That is really great. Um, and there's and see the good thing about the samples in these boxes is typically you get more than just a little tiny bit. You know, some samples are so small, you really can't get a feel for the product, but that's not true with these. 
We have another tube here. This is Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. Oh, nice. With Hyaluronic Acid, Prickly Pear, and Coconut Oil. You want to rub this onto your dry or damp skin. It can be used on the entire body, heels, elbows, and anywhere that needs a drink of hydration. Oh, nice. Sometimes I don't open the flip cap in these videos because it can be a very loud snap noise. Plus, there's usually a seal. My skin gets so dry in the winter. Oh my gosh. I am always looking for lovely moisture. Anything that might feel nice. Let's put some on the other hand here. This comes along like that. A little goes a long way. It's very, very nice. Um, it is a little greasy, or that's the way it feels initially. Oh, it smells good. I like the way it smells. Yeah, you can smell. Well, I was going to say it was a coconut smell. It's actually not. It almost smells like candy. It smells like some kind of some kind of candy. It smells kind of sweet. I like it. So this has hyaluronic acid, prickly pear, and coconut oil in it. We have seen some of their products before. I think I did like them. Oh, that's... Okay, so the greasy feel kind of stays, but for me, I like to use products like this at night when I'm getting ready to go to bed. So I will definitely use that. That is nice, and it's 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 not heavy or sticky, really. It feels nice and silky, and it smells really good. It it kind of smells like um, it smells like cotton candy. I like the way it smells, but I think I like this one even better. This one smells just like honey. It smells really good. Okay, this box was a little bit dented. You can see, I tried to straighten it out, but it didn't want to straighten. What is this? Clarins Cryo Flash Cream Mask. Instant Tightening, Firming, and Glow Booster. Cryo Starter Technology from Clarin, 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 Paris, Clarins, Clarin, Tomato, Tomato, Potato, Potato. I don't know. Let's see. The intensive rejuvenating cream mask inspired by cult-based aesthetic techniques. Avoid the eye, eye contour area. Leave for 10 minutes, then remove any excess. Oh, I gotta see this. I have never heard of this. It's in a squished container. I did try to fix it. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny little tube. So it has instant tightening, firming, and glow booster. Well, oh, it's a gel. Well, no, it's not a gel. It's kind of blue. It's like a blue lotion. We're just going to put it on. So it's will leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm just going to put it on here. Our recently exfoliated skin. Oh, it smells weird. <laughs> It smells like Pond's cold cream. It smells like my grandma getting ready for bed. Oh no, it changed. Now it smells like dirt. <laughs> my grandma probably does too by now. Um, the smell kind of fades a little bit. It's not super strong unless you put it right up to your nose. It's definitely cold. It made my hand shiny. So we are shiny. Let's leave this on while we look at some other stuff. I will tell you if I feel any effects. It says that it provides instant tightening, firming, and glow boosting. Well, we'll see about that, buddy boy. So we've got that on there. And this is probably two uses in here if you were going to do your face, I would say. Oh, at least two, maybe three. Okay, then... 
we're just going to leave that on there for right now. We have belief, be belief, believe in truth. This is an Aqua Bomb hydrating body moisturizer with skin brightening niacinamide. Yes. Instantly hydrates with a soft, lightweight gel texture. Yes. Why is it like a quiz? It has like questions and answers. Leaves skin feeling smooth, not sticky. Yes. Our belief, belief, B E L I F, belief. Why is every name of every product so stupid? Can I ask that? Am I allowed to ask? Why is the name of every product stupid? I'm sorry. That's probably a terrible question, but I was just sitting here wondering that. Our belief to deliver a skin quenching... I have to go look that up, I'm sorry. Okay, I looked it up, I got nothing. It's just the name of this company. Our belief to deliver a skin quenching body moisturizer with a soft, lightweight gel texture that instantly hydrates skin while visibly brightening. Let's see, sorry, my cat was scratching at the door and he had to tell me that he loves me. Okay. Where did I stop reading? Formulated with Napier's Aqua Formula, Hyaluronic Acid, and Niacinamide, this moisturizer quickly absorbs into skin with a refreshing, silky finish. Well, I'm very curious about this. I'm glad they're sending me all of these moisturizers because my skin is pitiful. And the older I get, the drier my skin is, even in the summertime. Okay. So again, we have this nice little sample here. That's a nice size. I got to see this. I'm very curious. This doesn't really feel any different. Um, I don't feel anything happening. It's kind of sticky. But I, I don't really feel anything. Okay. So we have a little seal on there. We have so many products on our skin today. It comes out like that. It's kind of like a serum. A little gel. Okay. Put that on there. Of course, I already have some moisturizer on the... Oops. I should have put it somewhere else. Here. Put it here. It's, uh, a little goes a long way. It doesn't feel greasy or oily or anything. It's, it's nice. It's a nice, lightweight moisturizer. It kind of has, um, like a faint citrusy smell to me. It's very light, though. It's not a strong smell. Yeah, not at all. I like it. So, Aqua Balm. It leaves your skin feeling very nice, and it's definitely not sticky like they said. It feels nice and smooth, no sticky feel at all. It's nice. I like it. I'm kind of curious to know how much this costs. I'm going to go look up the cost of this because I want to show you something. Okay, I just looked this up online, this Aqua Balm, and I do like it. I will say it is very nice and lightweight. It seems to be a really nice product. Um, if you want to buy this, now this is 30 milliliters here. It's just over an ounce. You can get the 50 milliliter size, which is 1.69 ounces, I think, at Sephora for $38. Now, if you're using this all over your body, that's not going to last very um, so it's $38 for something, you know, this is 30 that's for 50 $38. Now let me show you, and that's, you know, hey, I, that could get expensive really fast. Let me show you something. Now this is not part of this box at all. I found this product at Walmart. This is one of my favorite lightweight moisturizers. I love this stuff. Now, it's not this. It's not this. But you can get 13 ounces of this for about 8 or $9. That's a nice bump. This is Jergens Cloud Cream Breathable Hydration for Comfortably Moisturized Skin. 
It has a hyaluronic complex, fast absorbing, no sticky feel. It is the most amazing, lightweight, non-greasy moisturizer. I keep this here at home. I have some on my desk at work. I use this stuff every day, multiple times a day, and I love it. It's paraben free, free of dyes, oil free. Um, it's, it's fantastic. I love this stuff. Uh, it replenishes thirsty skin with a cloud burst of refreshing hydration and a fast absorbing finish. All day, breathable, comfortable moisture that sticks with you, not on you. I personally love this stuff. It is so great. It's not a heavy lotion. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. I love it. Now, this stuff is great, but it's $38 for a, a container not much bigger than this. This is about 8 to... I can't remember how much it was. It was like 8 or $9. dollars. Um, it is so great. I just, I just wanted to show you because this is a product that I use all the time and I absolutely love it. And this stuff kind of reminded me of it, the way it goes on, the way it feels. It's so, it's very similar to this. But again, I realize this is not this. I know. I'm sure this is like way better. But if you're looking for a good daily moisturizer that will not cost you tons of money, I highly recommend the Jergens Cloud Cream. And I have bought this at Walmart. I've seen it at Target. You can get it online. I mean, it's just seriously, and it smells nice too. It has a nice uh, scent, but it's very light scent. So it just made me think of that. I just wanted to show you. It's worth a try, and it's not terribly expensive. So then we have a hand mask, and this is from Korea. I see Korean on here. Yep, Korean. I'm lovely. Ginger Snap. Hand mask. It's a hand mask to keep your hands soft and hydrated with ginger extract. Touch screen. So you can have this uh, be doing a hand mask and still use a touch screen, I guess. From Tony Molly, which we have used their products before. So you're gonna wash your hands, take the masks apart, put them on for 20 minutes, and then rinse. But well, no, pat your hands for full absorption. I will admit that I will never use this. I mean, it's cute, but I, I don't like stuff like this. I do them on my feet sometimes, but the hand masks I don't ever do. So these two things I'm going to put in the, um, the blessing box the next time I go drop off some stuff. Now we have two more things from the beauty box. We have scent. We have two scents. This is from Prada. Parad Parad I'm going to butcher the hell out of this word paradoxy. I know what paradox is, but I'm sure it's pronounced some rootin' tootin' way. Okay. What is this? It looks like a pregnancy test. <laughs> it looks like a pregnancy test. <laughs> Am I wrong? This looks like a pregnancy test. It's not. It's telling you to recycle. Oh, here's the trash can. It's telling you to recycle this card. I hate it when inanimate products tell me what to do. Let me open this up. We'll take a look at this thing. Okay, I just looked up the commercial for this product. And according to Emma Watson, in her fantastic little commercial, this is pronounced paradox. She said paradox. Paradox. I'm going to call it paradox. I don't give a shit. Can we just smell this stuff already? Okay, this is from Prada. I've never touched anything from Prada. This is exciting. The scent of an avant-garde grand... Oh, I thought it said casserole. Oh my god. I really need to go to bed. The scent of an avant-garde grand casserole. No, it's classique. <laughs> it looked like casserole. What if it smells like a casserole? I will die. The floral freshness of neroli... That was a character in The Lord of the Rings. And the magnetic sensuality of a woody amber accord. <laughs> Shut up, Mary. Intensified by a powerful trail of white musks. I feel like I'm in a bad dream. Alright, I, I am too irreverent, I know. And for anyone out there who gets 
passionate over scent, I apologize in advance for anything I might say about this grand casserole. Okay. Well, first I, I need to go, I've got to go cleanse all this stuff off of me, so I will be back. Okay. I am, I am ready to receive. Now, I don't have coffee beans here to sniff between scents. We have two. This is the first. There's another one. Hold on to yourself. Okay. Now, I always give you my honest opinion of these things. Um, I don't care who made them. I don't care how fancy they are. If they stink, I'm going to say they stink. If they smell like rotten fish, I'm going to say so. I don't care if it is Prada or whatever. I don't care. Okay. Oh, crap. I got it on my hand. Shit. Sorry. Okay. Don't rub your wrists together. The universe will implode upon itself. And I'll never make it to payday. All right. Oh, Jesus. I can smell it over here. I have my hand far away. That cannot be right. Okay, hold on. Give it a second. Just I always like to give it a second. Just let it do its heebie-jeebie. Um, I can't quite figure out what that smells like. It smells like a cold headstone. Have you ever, have you ever been in a graveyard when it's cold? The headstones have a distinct feel and smell when they're cold. They literally, I'm telling you, they do. It smells like flowers. I can smell the floral. I smell that. That is actually not bad. But there's a background of graveyard or something. It's like, um, hard and it's making me sad. I mean, it's not terrible. I don't hate it. But it's too... Sometimes I think with these scents, they get a little overly ambitious and they just combine all these random things into one scent and it it just throws me off. If it was just the floral, it would be nice. I like the floral, but then there's this back... Oh, it almost smells like grape juice. Now it kind of smells like grape juice. The graveyard is gone. The graveyard has become grape juice. The floral is still there. I don't hate it. I will say it's not the worst that we've ever sampled on this channel. I've definitely smelled worse. But that's not saying much. That's, <laughs> that's, yeah, it would take a lot to beat some of the stuff we've smelled on here. Okay. It's grape juice with flowers in it. And something. It smells like one of those sets of Barbie makeup, like the eyeshadow. Grape juice, flowers, and Barbie eyeshadow. That's what it smells like. Okay, Prada. What were you again? Paradox? You were definitely a paradox because I don't know how I feel about you. It's good and bad at the same time somehow. Because I don't want to smell like Barbie eyeshadow. And I don't want to smell like grape juice. The floral is nice. If I could just take that floral scent and leave the rest out, it would be alright. It's not bad, but I would not, I would not buy it. Okay, Versace. We have Versace Porfim. Dylan Purple. I like the cover. It's pretty. I like the color of it. That's the first Versace thing I've ever touched, too. Look at me. Okay. Olfactive Family. Floral, fruity, musky. So it sounds kind of like this. Top notes. Bitter orange. Uh, Italy or pure oranges. Pear juice accord. Bergamot. Italy or or pure, middle purple freesia, palmer rose, mahonial, dry down, iso e super cedarwood, Virginia or or pure, ambro fix, bellambri, silkalid silkalid. Well, it's pretty. Look how pretty. I do like the container. This looks really cool. 
I would buy it just to put this on my countertop. That is so stinking cute. It looks like a tiny urn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, I wonder how much this costs. I haven't even smelled it yet. I'm gonna go look it up because I want one of these. It's actually not too expensive. You can get a one ounce thing of it for about $45. That is just cool. I like this little thing. I haven't smelled it yet, but that's that's cute. I don't like the way that looks. I'm not gonna let it bias me. But this is pretty. Look how purple it is. I love purple. Isn't that pretty? And the gold. Oh, it's already sold me. I'm sold. I want one. I would just like the empty container. Like, I could just... <laughs> Never mind. Let's see. I got it on. I don't have my coffee beans. Go away. Go away. I'm very sorry. I cleansed my my nasal palate with Pepsi like I always do. Okay. That that smells like Hawaiian punch. Hold on. Oh no, it doesn't. You have to give I didn't give it a second. Give it a second. Just let it uh, let it uh, marinate in there. Let's see what it changes. But initially it did smell like the red Hawaiian punch. Now it just smells like Pantene shampoo, which is not bad. Do you remember how Pantene shampoo used to smell back in the 80s? It doesn't smell like that anymore. They changed it. But it used to have this really cool scent back in the 80s. Remember when it came in those cylindrical bottles with that clear plastic top, you know? And you feel super fancy buying it. <laughs> I, I worked in a grocery store when that stuff was popular and I would save up some of my money and go buy it. We didn't sell it at the store where I worked, but I would go over to CVS and buy it. Okay, it smells like Pantene shampoo, which is not bad because I always like the way it smelled. What am I supposed to do? Hang on. Oh, it's changing. Now it kind of smells like sweat. Hang on. What am I supposed to be smelling? Oranges, pear juice, bergamot, freesia, cedarwood, and whatever that other stuff is. It smells like Pantene. It really, I mean, maybe it's me. Maybe it's my body chemistry, but on me, I am smelling 80s, 1980s Pantene shampoo. You know what? I would wear that because I always love the way that Pantene stuff smells. And it doesn't smell like that anymore. I bought some a few months ago, and it does not smell the same anymore. Okay, I like it because it's reminding me of being a teenager in the 80s and loving that shampoo <laughs> and the conditioner, too. And the smell kind of fades, honestly. It seems to me that this is one of those things that the scent wouldn't last very long. It's like that Dolly perfume. There's a Dolly perfume that I really like. But the smell fades within like 10 minutes. You can't even smell it anymore. Yeah, it just smells like Pantene. But it makes me happy though, because it reminds me of being young and, you know, when I was not dead inside yet. So I may get some of that. I may actually, for real, I may get some of that one. I like that. Now that one was called... Now you have to pay attention because there are some that are... There's a Dylan Blue, apparently. Versace Pour Femme, Dylan Purple. This I like. I like this one because it smells like Pantene. <laughs> this one was not awful, but I probably would not. I wouldn't buy that one. I, I didn't like. I don't want to smell like Barbie eyeshadow. Okay, so these are our products today from the Macy's Beauty Box. I thoroughly enjoyed this one, by the way. This was so fun. Okay, these two are going to the blessing box when I go drop off some food. These, I will, I will use this Versace because I want to smell like that Pantene. I may spray a little bit on my hairbrush and brush it through my hair. This one, I, I wasn't crazy about that, but I will definitely, I will definitely use these. Oh, let me go rinse this off. I almost forgot it. It's not sticky or binding. I'll go wash it off and I'll let you know how it feels. 
Okay, so I rinsed it off. It feels very nice. I don't know if my skin is any tighter or more glowy. And this is the hand that I uh, did the exfoliator on, so it was already kind of smooth, so it's cool. I will try it on my face, though, and see if I like it better. But on here, I can't really tell it to anything, but I'll, I will use it again. But thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun with this one. Yeah, this was great. So I think this was January's. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you again really soon.